What's going on guys, it's Chu here bringing you a, another review and reaction on Boruto. And this chapter we have a lot, a major surprise, something that has been hinted out for a, quite a while and has come to realization now and I'm excited because it's finally here. So glad this character's back. But overall, really happy that where this is going because it's, it's, it's gearing to including Himawari and I'm excited for that. So. Without further ado, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, and let's get to it. So, we start off with having the shock factor of Jura seeing that Naruto is not actually present, but he is seeing Himawari in front of him, but he's detecting the Jinchuriki, or better yet, Kurama. And this, of course, is confusing to everybody. We see that Jura and Hidari are just kind of wondering what's going on they've already attacked some people um and we have the inashika joe group is there as well we get to see more work between those guys which again i thought was great i love seeing inashika Cho. doesn't matter the generation just that they can work well together i i don't know why we don't see that anywhere else in any other at least for me particularly we don't see that anywhere else in any other hidden hidden village anywhere else just in general and we just see it with these three it's like these three families are not going to mingle amongst them each other but they're going to make sure that their kids always have that connection and i think that's cool however they're not enough to beat these these guys we know that and so they're in a very tight situation they want to get their hands on himawari uh, they want to devour himawari and it's insane because, you know, they've got to get out of there. Uh, Kawaki shows up uh, with Delta. Uh, and I'll just say, you know, he doesn't stand a chance. You know, we saw that in the, in, the, in the last chapter. He doesn't stand a chance. So he gets knocked out. And so we have him waking up later. And he's also sensing a, another presence. That is Baruto. Baruto is with, with Koji, which is interesting. Uh, Koji... Obviously was the one to teach Boruto about Sage Mode. We see that the Toads are around him. And it's kind of cool that he's hanging around. But he has to get back to the village. He has to go back and help out what's going on. Because they're hunting Himawari. And even he doesn't know why. So we have him going back. Kawaki senses it. And I absolutely love that Kawaki tries to take on Boruto. And Boruto tries to take it easy on him knocks him out again like Kawaki is just taking L after L it's just not cool not a good look on Kawaki for him to keep losing this way he was having a conversation with Shikamaru uh, of course that you know that gets interrupted because of the fact that Kawaki is with Baruto and so this is kind of confusing and it's kind of all everywhere we have Sadala going and running to trying to get to where Hidari and where the rest of them are at and of course, trying to protect Himawari. So really, it's just a tough situation all around. So Baruto, of course, you know, he also is having some issues because we're seeing that even though he took it easy on Kawaki, he is not able to fully control his karma yet. So he's had a lot of training, but I think this is the one thing that he's always going to continuously struggle with. And Kawaki picks up on this, too. He may have lost twice in a row, but he actually picks up something that I'm glad he did. He notices that he can control his karma, but unfortunately, Baruto can't. So this may be something he might take to his advantage, or it could be his biggest regret. Because, let's think about this. If Baruto goes full-on uncontrolled, he may not come back, and he'll probably just obliterate Kawaki. Because we know he's got a lot of pent-up anger in regards to this guy. So, I'm very surprised that uh, Baruto, you know, is in this state still. Where he's still not able to control. But it is cool that he has two teachers, Sasuke and Koji. You know, so I, I think that's... I mean, even though it's probably hinted for a good while now, it's nice to actually see it. So, also, we get to see how Himawari wants to take the hero approach. Even though they're running away from Hidari and Jura, who, by the way, are very logical. It's like, why is it that they're running? We have we don't want to harm Inashika Joe. We have no business with them. We just want Himawari. But yet they're acting against their normal human instinct. Why did they do that? It almost seems like they 
wanted to put themselves in danger in order to save Himawari, which isn't a logical choice. It's just kind of funny that in my mind that that's how they are, that that's how they're talking. But throughout the conversation that Himawari is having with Inashika Joe as they're running away, is that, no, leave me behind. I want to be able to help. I want to understand what's going on. Please drop me. And right as she's having this conversation, she kind of freezes up while they're still flying. And we have her in the same same place that we would have seen Naruto. I guess I, I want to call it the Jinchuriki place. I don't know if there's an official name for it, but it's that kind of palace or that place, whatever you want to call it, where you are taken and you're talking to your Jinchuriki, where you're... Your, your, your tail beast and we have her talking to Kurama it's like wait a minute you're you're the nine tails aren't you it's like yeah it looks like they found me and we see that he's a cute little version of Kurama so my thing is I think Kurama's spirit was gone like it definitely left Naruto but at some point at some point Kurama was able to insert himself or was able to be, maybe because of genetics, able to save himself by going inside of Himawari. It wouldn't have been smart to go into Baruto, especially right now with him being complete Ototsuki. That would not have worked. So I'm glad that it did for Himawari. But I'm curious, how did he come back? I hope we find out in the next chapter. But guys, that is it. Hope you guys are safe, and I'll catch you all later.